Morning, and thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Chadwick. Emotional testimony from transgender students and their parents today at the State Board of Education meeting. The board's gender identity proposal wasn't on the agenda, but most of the public comments were about the guidelines. One by one, people shared their stories in support or against the proposal that would allow students to choose their own gender identity. It would affect things like how teachers refer to them, which sports teams they play on, and which bathrooms they use. Fox 47's Joy Wang shows us what they had to say. Say. Morals do not bend to prejudice. Progress does not kneel to fear. So where will you stand? With the letter in hand, high schooler Aiden Ramirez Tatum asked the State Board of Education to support the LGBTQ proposal. I wanted them to see that trans students are people that have potential and that so often that potential isn't fulfilled because of the environment they're in. An environment his father saw affect his son firsthand as Aiden transferred from one school to another. I've seen my, my son go from a withdrawn bully teen to the top of his class. Helpless is how I felt a lot. I didn't feel like there was anything I could do. A feeling the board's president hopes no parent or child has to experience. It's a fact. They're transgender young people, and they deserve our love and support and the chance to get a great education. But board member Richard Zile says these guidelines are flawed. We are certainly committed to providing safe and supportive schools for all students, but the guidelines themselves grow out of a very narrow perspective. And he thinks the parents should be involved in the process. Age is not specified, so this could be as early as kindergarten. Can choose his or her own identity and have it concealed from the parents, which suggests the schools keeping one set of records for use in-house. But transgender students say it's about feeling welcomed at school. Sometimes I do not feel safe in school because of um, people's lack of education on these topics. You shouldn't have to be going to your principal defending your existence. I wanted the board to really realize that that's what things are right now. Something they hope will change with the vote. In Lansing, Joy Wang, Fox 47 News. You can still submit public comments online through May 11th. Just click on this story at fox47news.com.